why we are the group two. Today we will be discussing to you the Schramm's model of communication. What is Schramm's model of communication? The Schramm's model of communication was postulated by Wilbur Schramm in 1954. He suggested that communication is a two-way process where both sender and receiver take turns to send and receive a message. In short, the Schramm's model of communication is about having a normal conversation, and this model shows us what communicating should be. He also emphasizes that the communication is incomplete unless and until the sender receives a feedback from the recipient. Imagine a person sharing his thoughts with his friend, and his friend not responding to him. Is the communication complete? No. Schramms believed that communication is actually a two-way process between the first party and the second party. How does Schramm's model works? As you can see, it's a cycle where the sender is also the receiver and the receiver is also the sender. When a sender passes on the information to the receiver, the receiver must interpret it in the desired form the sender wants and give him the feedback or respond accordingly. Any communication where the sender does not get the feedback, the communication is not complete and thus ineffective. So how do we apply Schramm's model in our daily lives? Have you ever been in a group? where a member is bossy and doesn't listen to other members' suggestions and ideas that may contribute in your group project? Here's an example. He doesn't listen to his members, and as you can see, he doesn't consider his members' suggestions. That is not how the Schramm's model works. So how does Schramm's model works in real life? Take this as an example. All of them, as you can see, keeps each other eye contact. They listen when they give feedbacks. They also think about what each other's thoughts are. It's understanding. Everything. It is important that we not only send our message but also receive so that we will fully understand what other people's perspectives are. In this case, the people involved in a conversation must be open to other people's suggestions and let the speaker finish and wait for your turn to give your feedback to the topic. Each of us can have the chance to express our ideas and own opinion through keeping the Trump's model of communication in our minds. In order for a conversation to work, eye contact and attentiveness is the key.